had very little by way of parenting. Those were very hard years. But I was also blessed because during those years, several people, to varying degrees and for varying lengths of time, came forward and did what I had no right to expect or demand. They fathered me. They opened their hearts to me, and they opened their homes to me. And I am eternally in their debt. My parents had a friend in Tel Aviv named Vili Yanku, who, like them, was a European refugee who had found his way to Israel. Vili lived a very difficult life. He suffered from a debilitating disorder of the spine and joints. He was in constant pain, and he had trouble standing, let alone walking. Vili and his wife, Clemmy, were not able to have children of their own. After my father died, Vili and I found each other. I, a boy in desperate need of a father, and he, a wonderfully loving man in search of a son. Every week, sometimes several times a week, he would come to my aunt's apartment in Tel Aviv to pick me up, and he would take me to a coffee and pastry shop where he would sit and talk for hours. I no longer remember a single thing we talked about, but I remember with enormous vividness his warmth and his humor and his kindness. I also remember something else. Vili was an indomitable spirit. He was racked by pain, yet he managed to be a successful club singer. And when he could no longer do that, he became a high school English teacher, passionately imparting his love of literature to kids. His pain and suffering were vast, far vaster, I sensed, than he could or would ever let on. But he refused to let life pass him by. It may sound like a cliche, but his every day was a triumph of the human spirit. As I've already mentioned, Billy and Clemmy were not able to have children. So Rachel and I wanted to give him a gift, a small token of the love and gratitude I feel towards him to this day. We've named our son for him. Yanku, Vili's last name, is a Romanian diminutive for John, but it made us think of Yanku, which is East European for Yaku. So we've named our son Yaku, Jacob, or as he will be called from this moment on forever, Kobe. <laughs> My hope. Call him Jacob, neither he nor we will answer. <laughs> My hope for our little boy is that he embodies Vili's kindness, that he has some of Vili's profound love of books and ideas, and that he faces life, no matter what it brings him, with courage and determination. I can think of no better way to thank Vili or to honor him than by making him the namesake for this little treasure.